In this video, we will introduce the Progress Application Server for OpenEdge and migrate a sample application based on the classic App Server architecture to pass for OpenEdge. The first thing to know about Progress Application Server for OpenEdge is that Pass for OpenEdge is not the classic OpenEdge App Server. Pass for OpenEdge can run the same ABL applications that can run on the classic App Server. However, Pass for OpenEdge is not an updated version of the classic App Server. Pass for OpenEdge is an Apache Tomcat web server that can run OpenEdge web applications. Pass for OpenEdge does not require special adapters for each client type as in the classic app server. All client types send requests to the ABL server code using one of four transports. In this video, we will migrate an ABL client connection to use the APSV transport to access the server code on the Pass for OpenEdge instance. For more information about Pass for OpenEdge architecture, see the Get Started with Pass for OpenEdge Client Requests video. The link is in the video description. In this video, we will update a sample Classic App Server application to run on a Pass for OpenEdge instance by migrating Classic App Server properties, moving server code to a Pass for OpenEdge instance and testing database access, and updating an ABL client connection to call the instance, and then viewing the result of the server call using an ABL client. Let's prepare for the move. We will need to create a new Pass for OpenEdge instance, and then merge the classic App Server properties with the new instance. So let's start by creating a new Pass for OpenEdge instance. You can create an instance using the pasman create command in the proenv command line utility that ships with OpenEdge. When you create a pass for OpenEdge instance, you can specify the production security model using the dash z option. The production version, which requires an additional license, implements stronger security and limits external management of your server instances. The dash v option displays a verbose output to the console. Specify the HTTP and HTTPS ports and give the instance a name. This example uses My Business Server. This instance acts as a staging area for deploying an existing Classic App Server application to a production Pass for OpenEdge instance before you move to a live environment. Notice in a production security model, all transports are disabled by default for security purposes. Once the server is created, use the pasman test command to see that there are no port conflicts and that your instance can initialize. It also displays some useful information about your environment. Next, we are ready to convert an existing ubroker.properties to the new openedge.properties format used by Pass for OpenEdge. This is a three-step process. First, run passprop.conf on ubroker.properties to generate an OE merge file. Then review and customize the OE merge file. Then run OE prop to merge the ubroker properties into the Pass for OpenEdge instance. So let's start by running the passprop.conf on our existing ubroker.properties. Navigate to the conf directory of your instance. The passprop.conf utility requires three parameters. ubroker props file, which is the absolute path to the ubroker.properties file, ubroker name, which specifies the fully qualified name of the classic app server broker, and PASOE app name, which by default is the same name as your Pass for OpenEdge instance. PASPROP.conf generates several files which you can view in the directory where the utility was run. The file names include the app server ubroker name that you specified. So now we must review and edit them to suit our environment. The first thing to do is to move the setENV file for your operating system to the bin directory of your instance so it can be picked up for environment tailoring. Next, open the OE merge file in an editor. Review all the comments to learn more about the migration process. The bottom of the OE merge file shows the properties that will be merged. Important properties to take note of are the ProPath, Agent Startup Param, and Adapter Enabled for the APSV transport. Edit your ProPath entries to point to any shared code locations. Ensure you have access to the parameter file or database connection specified in the Agent Startup Param. In this case, our database parameter file is on a different machine, so we must update the location in the agent startup param. 
The final step in migrating classic app server properties to your new Paz for OpenEdge instance is to run the oeprop command to merge the oemerge file with openedge.properties. In the proenv utility, navigate to the instance's bin directory. Run the oeprop command with the dash f switch to indicate you are merging a file with openedge.properties. Then specify the path name to the oemerge file that you generated with the pasprop.conf tool. When the command finishes executing, take some time to review the openedge.properties file in the conf directory of your instance. Now that we have migrated our server properties, it's time to move server code and test database access before we start the instance. Move server code to the propath of your new instance. Server code is comprised of the .p and .r files that provide application logic. For common code used by multiple applications, move it to the instance's OpenEdge directory to ensure it's on the ProPath by default. Ensure that your database is running. If you're not sure, check the agent startup param in openedge.properties. Find the physical location of the database or ensure that the parameter file points to an accessible location of the database. Once you find the location of the database, use proenv to navigate to that location and run the proserve command with the database name to ensure that the database is running. Start the server and view it in a web browser to see that it initialized properly. From the instance's bin directory, run tcman start. You can also run tcman env to check the port that the instance is running on, and tcman plist to check that two process IDs have started, one for the Tomcat server and one for the multi-session agent. When the two process IDs appear, enter the hostname and port of the instance in a web browser to see the Pass for Open Edge homepage. If you encounter any errors, try these troubleshooting tips. Finally, we will change a classic ABL client connection string to connect to the new server. A classic app server client connection string looks like this. For a Paz for OpenEdge client, the connection string looks like this. Notice this format looks more like a URL because you are connecting to a web server using the new APSV transport. Ensure that the connection string points to the correct host name and port for your Paz for OpenEdge instance. Let's test the client connection. When we run the ABL client code, it connects to the server and the server returns the requested resource. In this case, a customer record from the Sports 2020 database. When you are done testing your server, it is a good practice to stop the instance. This completes our look at moving classic app server applications to the Progress Application Server for OpenEdge. To learn more about this topic, see the links provided in the video description and visit docs.progress.com. Mm -hmm.